Hi, this is Jason San Jose with the Adobe team that works on Extract for Brackets, and I just want to show you a few new features in Extract for Brackets 0.6 that we released this week along with Brackets 1.1. The two features that I'm going to show today are the new Getting Started experience and sharing URL from the Creative Cloud. So when you first log in to the panel, you're going to see a new tutorial uh, where previously we had a little animation. Uh, that's going to walk you through uh, how to use Extract for Brackets with this demo PSD. So the first step here is to select a layer to get started. Uh, when I select that, a new pop-up will show up that says to extract CSS or images, start typing or hit control space with your cursor inside of a CSS rule. So I'm going to find the CSS file that I can use here, and I'm going to hit control space to pull up code hints. And then I see code hints for this selected layer, which is this dark circle. I'm going to drop in a code in here. Uh, I'm going to pick this background color. And there's uh, code hints um, that was super simple in our, in our basic use case for using Extract. And then I have a new pop-up over here that says uh, Shift-Click to select multiple layers to measure the distance between objects. So let's say I want to get the distance between this layer, the circle shape, and the header to define some margin or positioning. I can Shift-Click this. And then now I can see that this circle layer is 60 pixels from this header layer. And then the last step is to sign in. So it says, uh, when you're ready to use Extract with your own content, choose one of these options. Uh, before this new release, 0 0.6, there was only one option, to sign in to use PSDs that you've uploaded to your own Creative Cloud account. There's a new option here that is the Creative Cloud shared link. And I'm going to flip over to Chrome here to show you what that means. So Let's pretend that I'm a designer working with a developer, and I want them to get access to this PSD to start uh, writing CSS and getting the layout and getting images from it. I could get, send them a copy of this and have them, uh, him or her, upload that file to their account, or I can share it here uh, from Creative Cloud. So I can select Send Link and hit Create Public Link. And what I can do then is email that directly from the Creative Cloud, or I can copy this and email it on my own uh, for this demo. I'm just going to copy it here and paste it into this URL field and hit Enter. And what this will do, uh, Extract for Brackets will hit that URL and get the PSD information without ever having to log in with my own account. So this is a great way for designers and developers to collaborate uh, on a design um, with you know, pretty low friction. You don't have to send files over. You don't have to download and upload files. It's uh, really quick, and you get full access to the PSD that is shared. So um, just as a sanity check, I can click on this image layer here, um, hit Control Space, and grab this image. And it's giving me the normal pop-ups here to, uh, you know, I can rename my image. Let's just call this Hero Image. And it's going to tell me that it's extracting it from Creative Cloud. And you can see that the status is going on here. I can dismiss this call out. And there it is, images, your image. Uh, and again, this is the same image that you would get if you actually had downloaded or uploaded this PSD to your own account and signed in. Uh, so this is great, again, working with teams, uh, designers, and developers collaborating on the same PSD. So that's it for the, this latest release of Extract for Brackets. And thanks for watching.